Good morning and welcome to Happy Club. This morning, Dr. Helms talks to the children about the importance of their church home. I want to show you my, my picture that I have up here. When I lived down in South Georgia, one of the things that I enjoyed doing was spending time in the woods in the spring and in the fall. And let me tell you about a particular thing that I enjoyed. I enjoyed going on field trials. Now it's a little different from hunting because we didn't kill anything on field trials. We just watched the animals work. Now I have two different kind of animals in this picture. What kind of dog is this? Anybody know? That's a bird dog. And what kind of bird is this right here? Does anybody know what kind of bird? Those are quail. They're beautiful animals, and they're very well camouflaged because you see how well they blend in with their environment? And the bird dog doesn't find the quail by sight. Do you know how the bird dog finds the quail? He finds the quail by smell. Now, on a field trial, we have a lot of people who get on horses, and they're there to watch the dogs work. And the trainer gets the dog out of a truck, out of, a, out of the cage, and the dogs jump out, and they start zigzagging through the woods, and they're looking, or they're actually smelling for quail. And he's barking, and finally, all of a sudden, he comes to a stop, and his tail goes up in the air like a flag. And one of the men on the, on the horse, he's the judge, and he holds up his hand, and everybody in the gallery on their horses, they come to a stop. And the trainer gets off of his horse, and he pulls out a stick or a whip. He's not going to hit the dog. He's going to hit the bushes if the bird dog has found the covey of quail. And he says, easy. He doesn't want the dog to scare the covey before he finds it. Easy, easy boy. And he looks, and sure enough, there's the covey. And when the judge says, yes, indeed, he's found the covey of quail, the owner of the dog, he goes back to his horse, and he pulls out a gun. And then he walks over, and he hits the bushes with his whip, and the covey of quail goes, and he takes his gun and he shoots it in the air and he goes, boom, and down from the sky <laughs> comes bird seed. Have you ever seen anybody shoot a gun and out of, the, out of the shell falls bird seed? That's really interesting. And he does that so later on the covey of quail will come back to that very spot and start eating the seed. Now what happens to that cubby of quail when they fly away? Do you know where they go? They go out through the woods and they're scattered all over the place. Now something very interesting about quail, do you know what kind of noise a quail makes? Have you ever heard one before? Well, I guess if you didn't know what kind of bird that was, you'd probably never know what sound the quail makes. A quail makes a sound like this. And when they're all scattered through the woods, when one of the quail starts calling, all the other quail in the bushes, they start coming back together because when they're in a covey, they're safe. There's safety in their numbers, and they're happy. You see all those kids over there in those funny looking hats and you know what they're about to do they're about to graduate and you know what's going to happen after they graduate they're going to go they're going to scatter they're going to find jobs they're going to go to school but you know what else they're going to do they're always going to come back they're going to come back to home, 
We're going to come back to Jefferson. And we hope they'll always come back to church. Do you know who the call bird is? The call bird is the Holy Spirit. It says in the Bible, when Jesus was baptized, that the Holy Spirit descended upon him like a dove. And inside every person who believes in Christ, the Holy Spirit lives within me. And it is the Holy Spirit who calls us back together and says, you need each other. You need community. You need Christ. And so even as you fly away, I want you to find community with other Christians because you need that kind of fellowship and that kind of love that you've come to know in places like Jefferson and First Baptist and other churches. And as you grow up, that's what we want to teach you about the Holy Spirit, the call bird, who calls us back together each and every week that we come to church. Let's pray. God, you send to us your love through family, through friends, through the church. We gather here each week, Lord, and we pick up the seeds of the gospel. We feed on you, your message, through the love of our friends and through the scriptures and through our prayers to you and through your message to us through the songs that we sing. And I pray for these children, Lord, and I pray for these seniors, Father, and for all of us, that even as we scatter and go our separate ways, that you always call us back together for the kind of fellowship and love that we need here within your church and within other places of worship. Through Jesus we pray. Amen. Jesus loves me, yes I know. If you would like to involve your child or a grandchild in Happy Club, we invite you to attend either of our two services each Sunday at First Baptist Church of Jefferson, Georgia, located at 246 Washington Street. If you would like more information on the importance of establishing a church home, please call, write, or email us today.